Kwa chimwe cha 10 ya shuani. Mereki zeddeki. Eh? Kati ono musajja tugamba ati anti tithings for the old testament How does of the law. Don't tell us ntie chimwe cha 10 chili eri cha mateka. Is Jesus of the law? Yesu wa mateka. Chile be chiju. It is here. Verse number 5 gamba ji. What is it? Now consider how great this man was. And to whom the, even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the spoils. Vunula. Consider how great this man was. Consider how great this man was. And to whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the spoil. Consider how well this man was. So this pressure. How does he tell us Abraham gave the tithe under the law? Is Jesus under the law? Yes, I don't know whether people don't read the Bible. Think about the greatness of this man. Whom our patriarchs gave the tithe. Abraham never gave a tithe to a human being. He gave it to Melchizedek. Who is Jesus? Verse number five. Rokutano. And verily they that are the sons of Levi who receive the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law. Tithing of the people according to what? To what? Abana ba Levi. The children of Levi. The sons yes, of Levi. Yes, wa Levi. Jesus is not a son of Levi. Yes, mwana wa Yuda. Jesus is a son of Judah. Jacob gave birth to twelve sons. One of them is called Levi. Another one is Judah. Another one Benjamin. Another one Gad. Another one Gad. The priesthood used to come from Levi. Those that used to take the child. Jesus comes from the clan of Judah. He's not from Levi. So tithing has nothing to do with Levi. It has something to do with Judah. From where Jesus is born. That's why the prophet says. Also Judah Bethlehem. You are small among the princes. But you shall bring forth a Prince. Jesus came from the clan of Judah. And it's called the Lion of Judah. Not the Lion of Levi. So we don't tithe according to the Levitical law. We tithe according to Judah. How many know that Jesus came from the clan of Judah? Judah. Tell him believe. He's not among the Levites. Uh, the, the Levites take the tithes. In the office of the priesthood. They have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law. That is of their brethren. Though they come out of the lions of Abraham. Verse number six. Verse number six. Quickly please. But we whose descendant is not counted from, from them received the tithes of Abraham. We are not in Levite. The tithes of Moses do not concern. We are not concerned about Aaron. Them, Even the ones of Aaron. But he whose descent is not counted from 
Yesu tava mu tribe ya Levi. Jesus is not from the tribe of Levi. That word he means Jesus, Baba Melchizedek. Eh. He who whose descent is not counted from from them received the tithes of Abraham. Melchizedek. Mm. Yabawo. Melchizedek lived. And the father of Levi never knew that he would be born. Who gives birth to Levi? Ani. Yakobo. Ani azala Yakobo. Isaac. Ani azala Isaac. Ibrahim. Kakati eminembe giri esatu. So the generations are three. Nene Musa yenjini ya utayogiru waku. But even Moses is not spoken about here. Yareta mateka. Who brought the law? But he whose descent is not counted from, from, from them received tithes of Abraham and blessed him that had the promises. Verse number eight. Seven. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. O munaf. Awe womukisa. O waman. Abraham was the less. Abraham was the less. Menech Zedek was the greatest. Who gave a blessing to the other. O waman. The greater one gave a blessing to the less. Number eight. O womunana. And the here men that die receive tithes. Here men that die receive tithes. But there is he receives them of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. Who is that one? That is Melchizedek. Who is Melchizedek? Yes, that is Jesus. So tithing is proclaiming that Jesus is alive. Let the man of God leave us alone. He wants to bring poverty to us. There are many here who die and they receive the Aaron's. They used to get tithes. They died long time ago. The Asaph. Yeah. 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 These men who die receive tithes. But for never more they come. Men who die. But Aaron he was losing the tithes. The Aaron used to gather tithes. But Asaf. The Asafs. The priests. The priests. The high priests. The high priests. But never so losing the tithes. They used to collect to tithes. Yet they die. Atenga bafu. But there is he that receives them. Na yewa di wa bi funa. Wali wo ya funa tithes yenga tafa. He doesn't leave. He doesn't die. Webali, oberewo. First of all, temu biya somera. You don't read them for yourselves. Nangye chibi ndeye sezalo anjiri genala biya kuyutu. The reason why I brought them out is that because of the message. Genala biya kuyutu binenga ma ante koko somera bantu ba feli. I said they have to teach my people the truth. Webali, webali kange nendi yoko nangereero. Ati katina ngi la kubalansi yoko taisi inte kemuli. Yee, biya chitiyo biya chitambula. Bana abafa, baliye. Tuliye, abafa. Abafa. Bana abafa baliye. But there is one who doesn't die. Who will live a while? Yangu 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 onfu ingu gezi. Daina nako. Simanyu wazal. Tona zal. Ogezi. Mulete taith atun katamba mulete ofalingi. Abantu abafanga nzi. The men who die like me. Mulete taithi wanu nzi diya. You bring tithes and I eat from them. They pay me my salary at the end of the month through the tithes. But I'm not the one who blesses you. I am not the one who gives you the breath. I am not the one who gives you the breath. When you bring it here, even if we who die will receive it. But there is He that receives them. He sees you when you are coming. Of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. Ate yenga ajulirwa ntiabera mulamo. 
I'm winding with this. When I was teaching about revelation tithing, I told you that Holy Communion is proclaiming Jesus' death till he comes. When you want to proclaim Jesus' death till he comes, you do Holy Communion. That's what he said. Do this in remembrance of me. We don't put an obituary in the newspaper. Jesus' death in the new, new vision and daily monitoring. Uh -uh. If you want to remember his death, and he's coming back. Holy communion. But if you want to proclaim that he's alive. That he liveth. You give the tithe. There is one who doesn't die. When never you Tithe, you are proclaiming that Jesus lives. It is the tithe that proclaims Jesus is living. Holy communion proclaims that Jesus died. That's what the Bible said. Bible we gamba. Do not allow that video you saw on YouTube deceive you that tithing is of the law. Mbalaze Abraham tithed 1,000 years before the law came. You can't call me M7 generation. When I was born in Mutesa generation. Tithing was in Mutesa, not in Museveni. Museveni found it there. The law found tithing there. Jacob tithed 940 years before the law. And Jesus received the tithe from Abraham. He was the Melchizedek. With no beginning. With no end. With no father. With no mother. He's like unto the son of God. He's the prince of peace. And is the beginning of life. He is the person who Melchizedek gave the tithe. You cannot say tithing is of the law. When it was given first to Melchizedek, which is Jesus Christ. And even in the priesthood, tithing. Tithing was going to the Levitical clan. The Levitical Jesus, yes. whom we give the task to today, is not from the tribe of Levi. He's from the tribe of Judah. Judah. Judah means praise. Jesus is from the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah was not among the Levitical people. There is no priest in the Old Testament who came from the tribe of Judah they all came from the tribe of Levi for us we are not tithing the tithing of the law because the tithing of the law goes to the Levitical priests 
child called Levi which was born by Jacob that is the law Aaron Mutebi pays the tithe to Melchizedek who is the prince of peace and every time I give it to him I am telling the others that for you you received tithes yet you die but there is this one Jesus Melchizedek who receives them of whom it is witness that he lives forever how can you stop me from tithing when the person I'm tithing to live us forever mm -mm, man of God this one time change was to preach change what you preach finally let me speak this in from my common sense. Prepare your tithe as I speak them. The person who brought the law was Moses. He first brought the Ten Commandments. Among the Ten Commandments, there is no law of tithing. Where do you get this information from? Do we have the law of tithing in the Ten Commandments? Do we have the tithe as one of the Ten Commandments? The children of the rainbow just sing. Is there a way they say don't give a tithe? Where do you get this information from? The tithing is of the law. Moses brought ten laws. Tithing was not among them. Then he was given 613 ceremonial laws. Then he was given 613 ceremonial laws. Now we want to take a look at the book of Minasatu. I'm sure I was all anger. The first one. Uh, you get a, a pigeon you, uh, cut you off the the head, head, and you take the baby when a cow conceives never uh, take it away uh, from uh, the take uh -huh. when a woman is in the house uh, you'll never enter into the um, holy place if someone has a tumor and once it is uh, uh, it will be taken behind the tent for seven days and then they will bring them back 613. If anyone has lip pressure, a medicine, take them to the priest and let the priest examine. Once examine how with the lip pressure, he shall do a social distance like the one of Corona. Those are laws. They are 613. Jesus nailed them on the cross. There is no tithing among them. Do you get the tithing is of the law. Where do you get it? In the Ten Commandments, tithing is not there. In the 613 ceremonial laws, tithing is not there. The Ten Commandments, when Jesus came, he left them. He only squeezed them into two. The first four, love the Lord thy God with all your heart. They are about God. The last six, love your neighbor as you yourself. Because if you love your neighbor, you will not steal him. If you love your neighbor, you will not lie to him. So the first four love the Lord your God. The last six love your neighbors, you love yourself. So the ten commandments remain. The 613 we are crucified on the cross. That when you want the sins to be removed, you get a goat, you bring it to the priest, he lays his hands upon it, and all the sins goes with the goat. 
that when there is sin in the country you bring a sheep on the Passover day you slaughter it you shed the blood and you sprinkle the blood on the altar all the sins went away ceremonial laws on the cross Jesus became the lamb even among the 613 ceremonial laws there is no tithing where do you get this message Mr. Preacher where and the tithe they are talking about of the Leviticus for us we don't pay it for the Levitical law Jesus is not from the tribe of Levi he's from another tribe our tithe goes to the tribe of Judah who is Melchizedek I will not die on you Hallelujah. God bless you all Come on, let's clap our hands to the Lord. I will not die on you. And our service has ended here. Let's get our tithes.